Okay, so this is the second revision video and it's going to introduce you to some of the main characters in Of Mice and Men. So, first of all, just as a recap, so far we've met George Milton and Lenny Small, they're our main characters. They are about to arrive at the ranch where they're hoping to get some work and here they're going to meet a range of secondary characters who are still quite very, uh, all very important to the novel. Okay, so first of all, um, one of the main characters is called Candy. He is the oldest worker on the ranch. He's worked there a very long time. Um, he's what's known as a swamper. That's someone who um, is responsible for cleaning out the bunkhouse. Um, what you need to know um, about Candy is that he's got an old dog um, who becomes quite important to the story. Um, and poor old Candy, he's worked all his life, um, he lost one of his hands in an incident with some farming machinery and there's the idea that although he's worked for a very long time, he's never going to own any land and he's basically just going to be thrown on the scrap heap when he's finished. Poor old Candy. Next up, the boss. Um, when George and Lenny arrive at the ranch, um, they have a bit of an interview with the boss. Initially, he's very suspicious of George. He thinks that George is only looking after Lenny to take his money. Um, the boss has a son called Curly. Um, he's a minor character, really, the boss. We don't really meet, um, we don't really meet him past the first part of uh, the novel. Moving on. Then we've got Slim. Slim is um, one of the most important men on the ranch. He's what's known as a jerk line skinner. That means he's the mule driver. He's one of the most respected workers on the ranch. And Slim is a natural leader. He comes across as very wise and fair, giving George a lot of advice, listening to him. He has a great understanding of people. Um, and the other men on the ranch, they listen to him and they respect him. So that's Slim. Moving on. Ooh, and then we've got Curly. So Curly, if the novel had a bit of a villain, you could say he's our villain. He's a bit odd. He wears a glove filled with Vaseline to keep one of his hands soft for the ladies. He's a small, angry man. He's got what's known as little man syndrome, perhaps. He's quick to start fights. As soon as he sees Lenny, he takes an instant dislike to him. He's got a wife on the ranch as well, who he doesn't treat particularly kindly. She's only known as Curly's wife. That's Curly. So just as a recap, final thought. Well, I'm letting you in on a bit of a secret here. The novel ends with a death. It ends with the death of quite an important character. Steinbeck uses a technique called foreshadowing to suggest something bad is going to happen. That means all the way through the novel, he hints that something bad is going to happen at the end. Now, what I want you to do is to as you're reading, see whether you can spot any hint that Steinbeck gives us that something bad is going to happen at the end of the novel. Okay?